More than 12 million people come through RDU Airport and a percentage of them are going to lose something personal. If you do lose it, you got to figure out where to go to get it again. You're from Oregon, so if you lost something at this airport, would you know where to go to find it? Probably not. Travelers here at RDU lose between five and 600 items a month. We get all sorts of things. Uh, we uh, log them, as you can see. Um, they're anything from electronics to uh, credit cards. When the items are first recovered, they go to the guest services desk in either Terminal 1 or Terminal 2, where it stays for 24 hours. Then it makes its way to the RDU Police Department, where it's stored for six months. If no one claims it, it's sent to state surplus to be sold. Inside the airport police department storage vault, you'll be surprised at what you find. Some of the most common items, cell phones, keys, and belts. There are also canes, license plates, and even jewelry, which are kept safe. I lost some hockey sticks a couple years ago. Were you able to recover them? I did get them eventually, yes. If you've already jetted away once you realize that you've lost an item, you've got a couple of options. If you think you might have lost something, you can email us or you can call us. The TSA has its own return policy. It says it only confiscates guns. Other materials are taken from travelers who are told the items can be mailed to a final destination for a fee or be taken back outside the terminal to their vehicle. Also, here's a bit of holiday advice. If you're thinking about wrapping your presents before coming to the airport, I would recommend not to, uh, as TSA may need to get into those items. Now, if you lose your baggage, that's a whole different animal. If that happens, you have to end up going to your airline. Getting answers for you, I'm CBS 17 consumer investigator, Steve Sprazier.